This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. God's grace and mercy is still at work today. God's grace and mercy is still at work today. God hasn't stopped working in the world today. He hasn't stopped working in people like Lot, which means that He hasn't stopped working in our lives either. God has not stopped working in your life. There are times that you may feel that way. There are times that you may feel like God is just so distant that He doesn't even care about you anymore. There are times when you feel like God doesn't even hear what you have to say. That God is so uninterested in you. But the fact of the matter is that God is so uniquely interested in you. He loves you so much. It says that over and over and over and over in the Word of God. He loves you so much. And because He loves you so much, He has provided His grace and His mercy. And it is at work in your life today. Romans chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. But God demonstrates His love for us in this. While we were still yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by His blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through Him? God's still at work in your life today. And when you find yourself in a Sodom and Gomorrah of a problem, where you are just overwhelmed and don't know how to get out of that issue, and it's actually started to turn on you, and you made some wrong choices, and you made some bad decisions, and you found yourself stuck, trapped in a Sodom and Gomorrah type of problem, and you don't know what to do, remember that your God loves you so much that while you were still a sinner, Christ died for you, and you will be saved. God's wrath through him. Through him. The only way that Lot could be saved from Sodom and Gomorrah was for God to get him out of there. It wouldn't have done any good for God to say, hey, Lot, why don't you leave? Lot wouldn't have been listening. It wouldn't have done any good for Lot to read something, you know, in the, in the Bible that said, don't stay in Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, you know, someday that will probably happen, but not right now. It's not as bad as, you know, people think it is. You know, it's, it's okay. We'll, we'll survive. No. God had to come in in the middle of that situation and literally take him by his hand and pull him out. The good news is that God still does that today. He still does that in your life, and he does that in the lives of the people around you. Here's hope. You have a child in your family who's completely walked away from God and he's in a Sodom and Gomorrah type of life. Trust me, God will rescue him. God will go after him. Let God go after him. You have a co-worker who is in a total lifestyle that has just totally alienated himself from God. And you don't know what to do. This person claims to be a Christian, but what do, they, what do you do now? Trust me, God will go after him. God will go after him. Because God is more interested in rescuing him or her than you are. What about you? You're in a life style or a life choice or you've made some bad decisions and your life is now, even as a Christian, you've made such a mess of things. You don't know if you can ever get out of that situation. What do you do? Will God rescue you? Well, let me ask you the questions that I asked at the beginning of our study. What if your life was ravaged by sin and you were so lost in that condition that you had no idea how bad off you were? And what if that sinful condition was about to destroy you and a messenger of God came along and said, you're worth something to God and he wants to rescue you from your sinful condition before you die? Would you listen? <coughs> And what would it mean to you if you suddenly discovered that God believes in you? Would it change your life? Did it? And if it did, how are you different today than when you were lost in sin?